15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And we have liftoff. Vehicles pitching downrange. We're now 30 seconds into flight, and Falcon 9 is preparing to pass through max Q, which will happen at T plus 1 minute and 12 seconds. For those of you that might be unfamiliar with this turn, max Q is when the vehicle will experience the greatest amount of dynamic. Greatest amount of dynamic pressure. Call out there that everything is looking nominal for first stage. To prepare for max Q, we throttle the engines down and then back up about 20 seconds later. And this helps ensure that we keep those dynamic pressures below a certain level. Falcon 9 is supersonic. So there we heard the call out that the vehicle is now going faster than the speed of sound. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. So there we heard the call out that the vehicle is passing through max Q. Again, that's the moment in which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of dynamic pressure, greatest amount that it'll see throughout flight. Now in just a few seconds, we'll hear the call out that MVAC chill has begun. Just like we did on the M1D engines for first stage, we open the pre-valves between the propellant tanks and the turbo pumps, allow some of that super chilled liquid oxygen to cool down the turbo pump MVAC hardware. There we go. So MVAC chill has begun. So that super chilled liquid oxygen is flowing through the turbo pumps, allowing them to cool off prior to full flow of propellant. Everything is looking good with stage one trajectory. Coming up, we're going to have three events happening in quick succession. We're going to have main, main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation and SES-1, or second engine start one. Main engine cutoff coming up in three seconds. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. All right, there on your screen, we have confirmation of stage separation as well as MVAC ignition. Good, MVAC ignition. 